Um, here we're going to show all the parts of the soil health bucket made by the Murray FFA chapter. We're going to start out with the physical properties of the soil. Here we have two cylinders. One can be used for the infiltration test. One can be used for the bulk density. For the infiltration test, you'll see there's a three inch ring here that you want to drive the cylinder into the soil. Here is the cap that goes, fits right on top of the cylinder. And then here's a two pound weight that we would use in the field to pound that into the, to the soil itself. On the infiltration, we have a little bit of plastic that you push in before you pour your water in. And you would also drive the infiltration one in to three inches. If you have saran wrap that you could take out to the field, the saran wrap would be easier to handle than this little piece of plastic that comes in the bucket. And you should have a, another ring that would fit on top of there as well. Pound that into the ground and collect your sample. To dig those back out of the ground, there is a small shovel in a black case. You would open up that shovel and click it. Pinch it and click it into place. And that is a small little sh spade shovel to be used in the field. There are little plastic bottles with a line filled to 107 milliliters. The 107 milliliters represents one inch of rainfall in a three inch cylinder. We also have a, a larger bottle with a squirt lid on top. That's so that you can squirt water into these and clean them out when you're in the field. There's a thermometer on and off buttons with a battery. You just take the protective case off and you stick that into the soil to a four inch depth to measure the soil temperature. If you're digging with your larger spade, if you want to get the most accurate depth, there is a tape measure included. The 1 8 measuring cup to mix your 1 to 1, 1 to 1 ratio when you're doing the chemical properties, which we'll talk about here in just a second. A small butter knife with a little serrated ed edge to clean off the bottom of your bulk density sample. You scrape that away. There are plastic bags. Ziploc bags that you could collect your bulk density samples in. Marker to write where those samples come from and the dates. But there's also a notebook with pens that you can take all kinds of notes in the field. Take, go back to the office and write those notes down. And if you need, there is also a calculator. For the, the last physical property is there is a color chart. There is a organic matter color chart similar to the Munsell color book and the ranges, low range of organic matters at the bottom to the highest range of organic matter at top. You can see it goes from a light brown to a dark black. Here's the pH ribbon. You just pull this out. You take a strip off to do your pH sample. Nitrate in the bottle has two two pink sides on the back. It says nitrate and nitrite. When we concentrate on the nitrate in the field. Then the other chemical property test is the phosphate test. Here are the bottle and the 1 8 inch or 1 8 cup scoop that we mix one to one water to soil ratio. Mix that up for one to two minutes and that's how we get our sample homogenized so we can do these tests more accurately in the field. Then the last uh, biological chemical property test is the Solvita test in here. There are directions for the Solvita test located inside the box. And there are two jars to collect your Solvita sam soil samples in and then that if you all zoom in here a little bit and you can notice that there's a fill line on these these bottles. 
If you zoom in here to the fill line on the Solvita test, that's where you want to fill the soil level two. And when you put your placard in from the foil bags, stick the placard so you can see on the back side of the bottle, you have the nice clear glass on the back side, and that makes it a lot easier to read your color chart. So you can just put the color chart right up next to the bottle and for e ease looking with your eye, that's the best way to do it without taking the lid off. The last thing in the soil health bucket is a binder. And in that binder, there's each little packet here talks about the different tests that we just briefly showed about. Here's a soil respiration. That would be the Solvita kit. Soil organic matter, soil organic matter chart here. Bulk density, that we, where we are using the cylinders to measure the bulk density. We bring it back to the office, use a microwave to dry the sample, use a spreadsheet to calculate it. Electrical conductivity, Soil pH, that's our little orange strips here to get our soil pH. Soil phosphorus, we have the phosphorus test, phosphate test right here. Soil nitrogen, we have the nitrate test. And then it's just the last one in, in the binder is estimating soil moisture by feel and appearance. And that's also how you can estimate soil textures as well.